and we are live with a very grainy picture on YouTube. <laughs> uh, it, it's just not enough light, bro. That's what it is. Oh, we're at least live on Facebook as well. Oh, that's good. You can see me, sort of. Well, I moved the camera, yeah. Oh, nice, nice move. Nice moves. Make sure this is on uh, zero volume. Good Excellent. Uh, I don't think mine is. How you guys doing out there? All right. Let's pull it up. Uh, and anybody? There's somebody on YouTube, but I can't see who it is. I hate when it does that. But whoever you are, how you doing? Hope you have a good one. No, you can see something very clearly on your shirt there. Uh, you can see something clearly on my shirt. Uh, so if anybody wants to ask me what's on my shirt, I will tell you guys. Yes. Uh, but first, I want to get my sharing out of the way because I want to um, give full attention and full – what do you call it? What would you call it? Are we coming back? Peter says it looks great on Facebook. Wow, that's the worst pigtail ever. Yeah, that's what happened to mine. No, that's it. I didn't peel it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty bad. What do you call it? I'll check it right What's now. What's going on, guys? Matt, glad you made it back. Stockpiled on some Sunisha. That's good to hear, brother. Um, gotcha. Just doing my normal sharing real quick, you guys. I uh, want to make sure we have uh, plenty of time to talk because we do have some stuff to talk about today. Um, it is the last video of the uh, month, so we are doing our giveaway. You're going to get a four-pack of cigars if you win our giveaway. Um, so if you guys want in on that, you guys got to watch the whole video. We're not going to tell you exactly when uh, we are going to do it, but we are going to do it today. And uh, you guys, you got to be on the Facebook. So I apologize to those guys that are on the uh, YouTube right now. Uh, we will not feel bad at all if you decide to click out of the YouTube and go to uh, the Facebook page. Uh, that's where the giveaway will happen. Uh, so uh, make sure you guys get on the YouTube. Make sure you guys share the video. And uh, let's get this uh, let's get this show started, Mike. You want to tell everybody what we're smoking today? I would love to tell you guys what we're smoking because I did a review on it earlier this week. And it happens to be one of my new favorites, really. It's really good, and I love this size. It is the Underground Sun Grown and Flying Pig. Although... When you have a flying pig, there's supposed to be a pig tail, yes? Yes. There's a broadcast interrupt. What the? Oh, my God. Are you on Wi-Fi on your phone? Yeah. Can you turn it off? It's off. I don't know why this is happening. Now. This is ridiculous. It says we're fine now. I don't understand why you keep doing that. Want to just keep talking for me for a second? Uh, it looks like we're back up. Guys, I do apologize. I don't know what the hell's going on. We're having some shitty weather out here in Bakersfield, so uh, it might be an uh, issue with that. I do apologize. Let me know if it's clear and back up now, you guys. Um, I do apologize for that again. Every time I sit down, it just keeps doing that, which is just great. There we go. All right. It looks like we're going okay, guys. But, yeah, I am having – the flying pig size here, and it's not flying very well because this pigtail is just downright pathetic. I don't know if you can see that, but it's okay if you can't because it's not there. <laughs> there's there's nothing there. I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, – sort of, kind of worked. Um, okay, yeah. Yeah, for the most part, there we go. So let's I'm having see here. my flying pig with some coffee. Frankie, I think you're having a, a cooler drink right now. I bad. am. I'm having uh, my usual energy drink uh, just because that's what I wanted to have. Always good. Get rid of that foot band because that is going to catch up with me real fast. Matt, thank you. It's back up. Good, good. Uh, Chris, Baco, Gent logo on the shirts. What are you talking about? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. Shirts are in. Uh, we got some polo shirts made, you guys. Uh, they will be available. Uh Mitch is checking in from San Diego, where, where we were last year. Um, what's a good pairing with the flying pig? If you're having the sun-grown flying pig, um, my go-to, honestly, 
would probably be uh, some Gentleman Jack or some Single Barrel Jack. Uh, if you're having the number nine or the T52, um, which I actually had a number nine earlier today, um, mm. I would go with some Johnny Walker Black. Um, one or two ice cubes at the most or some whiskey stones if you have it. Uh, oh, cool. But, uh, yeah, that, that that's what I would do in my opinion. Hmm. I uh, I would just stick with some coffee, honestly. It's, I'm really enjoying it. If you want a, an alcoholic drink, um, you've got to uh, – I think I think you would have to go whiskey still, yeah? I mean, tequila is always good for me. I do like it, but I know a lot of people out there who have their horror stories. Mm -hmm. But that's because you usually go with a mix and not a regular tequila, but we, that's a whole other story. Okay, here we go. I got it up now. So it was Chris who joined us on YouTube, and then Peter who else has joined us now on Facebook. Uh, we're the ones that are watching us on uh, YouTube. So we do thank you guys for that so much. A um, little bit of information on this Drew Estates Sun Grown Undercrown In Flying Pig. Uh, on JR Cigar that had it as a uh, 7 seven by 52 uh, which is obviously not a 7-inch cigar. Um, Most men, I think, would consider that 7 inches. So that's a, that's a fair assessment. I'm not going to judge you guys out there. But here we go, you guys. It is uh, blended by Master Blender, Willie Herrera. Ecuadorian Sumatra Sun Grown Wrapper with a Sumatra binder, Nicaraguan fillers, and it is available in eight different sizes. Carrie Rose has joined us. Um, Mitch, obviously, is here. Um, McManley has joined us. So thank you guys so much. Hey, McManley. Um, I got to say, Drew Estates has knocked it out of the ballpark, in my opinion, with this flying pig size. Whether you're getting the, the Sun Grown, the Number 9, the T52, um, or any of their cigars that they make in the flying pig. I don't know what it is about the flying pig size. I just really, really dig it. Like I said, I had another one earlier today. Uh, I had the uh, number nine, which is probably one of my favorite. James, thank you for joining us again. Um, I, I, you know, sometimes there's just a certain cigar size that will hit you on all the right cylinders. And for me, this happens to be the one. Uh, I really dig this flying pig size for these cigars. Oh, yeah. It's, it's just unique in its own right. And uh, you get those really crazy shapes like the football. They have that ridiculous baseball bat, uh, which is fun to look at. Never going to smoke it. Mm -hmm. But this guy, it really steps out of the boundary of a lot of other things. It really does stand alone. And I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, Brett, how's it going? Brett, how you doing, brother? And I would like to also say to Elite Cigars uh, in New York. Sorry about that. I was running some technical issues, as you saw the beginning of the video. And I forgot to tag you guys. But go ahead and check out Elite Cigars if you guys get a chance. Um, awesome page. Just want to put that out there. Really do apologize for not tagging you guys, though. And do us a favor, you guys. If you're on Facebook, please share this video with as many people as you can. Uh, once we get to 20 people watching at once, uh, we are going to uh, start doing our four pack giveaway. It is the two uh, Aqua Taste or Momocraft and two of the Sun Grown Undercrowns. Nice. Um, usually on the month, what we're trying to do is four different cigars, one for each week. But because we kind of got jostled up this week, we're going to do two of each. So uh, four cigars all together, you guys. So uh, we need 20 people before we start uh, talking about how we're going to do that. So uh, help us out with that, guys. Uh, Matt says, I got my hands on the Pappy Van Winkle Reserves. Excellent. Nice. Um, in some news, Randy, how you doing? Uh, in some news uh, in the cigar world, you guys, uh, it seems not to get super political on this. But it seems Democrats are the ones that are really trying to impose different ta taxes and sanctions on cigars. We have two stories for you. The first one coming out of New Mexico. Uh, Democrat uh, um, rep introduced a bill, uh, Bill HB 261, which will increase the taxes on tobacco from 25% to 76%, catapulting them past <laughs> California as the second highest uh, tax uh in the U.S. I can't say that. We'll have a mouthful of smoke. Yeah, so basically 70 what? 76. So basically a cigar that retails for $9.50 in that state currently goes for $11.88. If it passes, it will go to $16.72. That is ridiculous. That's that's just robbery. That's that's straight up robbery. And I, I'd really quickly uh, go back to your point of sharing, guys. Last week's winner for the uh, free cigar uh, for most shared is Wayward. Um, so I will get a hold of you on the page, and we will send that hopefully Monday. Yeah, but we might be busy Monday. We will be busy Monday. Uh, we will be on our way to Vegas for the week. We are going to be meeting with some different cigar shops out there. So if you guys are in the Vegas area, uh, get a hold of us so we can hang out and have a cigar. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I cannot wait. I'm looking forward to it a lot. But 
Wayward, if you're watching this, I will get that cigar to you ASAP. Uh, and whoever shares, again, the most tonight, not including Frankie, you can't win this. That'd be cheating. But whoever shares it the most uh, will get a free cigar sent to you. That is not included in the four-pack. That's a separate thing. Uh, this is something even better Frankie thought of. I really like this idea over here. So I hope we get to that 20, guys. Yeah. And I would also like to say that these shirts are not just for us. Right. Um, if you look on the top, there is a link in the description. And if you want to get your Bakersfield Gentleman uh, polo, go ahead and order them there. Uh, free shipping. They go up to triple X right now. And uh, there's only the color for right now. It's only black with the embroidered stitching on there. It looks good. feels good. I love the shirt. Yeah, it's one of those kind of like um, Under Armour, um, Nike, uh, breathe, breathable material um, shirts. I just like those better the way they feel, especially when it gets hot out here. I like to still wear these. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you guys want to get a hold of these, make sure you guys click click on the description. Um I think we all did a really good job putting the logo where it needed to be and getting with Mark and making him ha uh, come out really, really nice. So, yeah. yeah. Thanks to Mark. For yeah, that. Gavin, the government is the biggest thief going, absolutely. Um, also, in New Mexico, Democrat representatives have introduced Bill 259, which they will raise the, uh, the age of being able to buy tobacco from 18 to 21. Ugh. Yes, it's um, embroidered, Mitch. It's not uh, silk screen. This is actually embroidered on, so it's it's really, really nice. Yeah, we, we wanted to make them look good. And we want you guys to look good while you're wearing them. Um, so I hope I hope you order yours soon. I hope we can all wear them together. Dry fit, yes. That's the word I was going for, dry fit. It's kind of like that Nike dry fit Under Armour uh, moisture wicking material that they are made out of. Peter, absolutely go Pats. Uh, we will see them play a week from tomorrow. And uh, hopefully they will beat the Rams because that's where Tom Brady started was a win over the Rams in his first Super Bowl. And hopefully he'll be doing it again. Uh, next up, you guys, another Democrat, uh, a senator this time from Iowa is introducing SF-109, which will be removing the tax exemption, I'm sorry, the uh, smoking exemption, um, according to their clean air laws, from casinos, racetracks, and gambling boats. So basically that means you will not be able to smoke cigars anywhere there. Wait, where is this? Iowa. I, what? Who's who's having a boat smoke in Iowa? No idea. Um, if you are, please invite, because I want to see that. At the same time, why are they doing this? There's got to be bigger problems in the area. I don't uh, – gosh, damn. You would think. But, yeah, so uh, SF-109, like I said, will remove uh, tobacco from their uh, – remove it from the exemption of clean air laws uh, on casinos, racetracks, and gambling boats. So if you guys do that, uh, it looks like if they pass this, you won't be able to do it anymore. Uh, it'll be his sixth win if he wins uh, this year, I believe. No. Hey. Yeah, six. Six, number six. Sixth win. Oh, it's your tie him with the uh, Steelers. Yeah. For uh, most, which I think will be awesome. Moonshine, thank you so much for checking in. Hey, Rob. Um, again, you guys, we are smoking the Drew Estates uh, Undercrown Sun Grown, which is an Ecuadorian Sumatra Sun Grown wrapper, Sumatra binder, and Nicaraguan long fillers. Uh, it is in the flying pig size, which, again, I think is just such a fun size. It's tend to buy any tobacco or alcohol products in Newfoundland, Canada. Wow. Well, 19 for alcohol, too? That's not bad. That's that's pretty reasonable, I guess. Government, I got two words for it. Yeah, Brett, I agree with that. I know exactly the two words I want to give him. But uh, I won't right now because this is a gentlemanly show. It is a gentlemanly show. And, you know, again, you're not trying to get into politics like that, you guys. It's just uh, – it is what it is. It happens to be Democrats are the ones doing this. And that was the news for the week, basically. Yeah, that was our, our big news for the week. Although we do have one more piece of news for you guys. Uh Mayo Ruiz, along with Lazona Cigars, is releasing their uh, next in the line of uh, unique cigars, I guess you call it. It's a 5x52 Robusto. It's called the Hand Gripper. And what makes these interesting is uh, they actually use a spring to connect them. So it looks like a, one of those uh, forearm grippers to strengthen your forearms. Ah, yeah. All right. They made the nunchuck as well. Uh, but this one, uh, they, nice. they make it look like a hand gripper. It's uh, going to use an Ecuadorian Habano Oscuro wrapper, Nicaraguan binders and fillers. It's going to release February 16th at the Great Smoke in West Palm Beach, Florida. It's going to be $99 a box, and they're only making 300 boxes of 12 cigars each. Uh, 300? That's yeah, so any that don't sell at the show, which I doubt there will be any that don't sell at the show. Um, yeah. Look at that. Looks like we hit our 20. Yes, we did. Excellent, excellent, nice. excellent. So, you guys get this 
uh, here we go, you guys. We got four cigars for you guys to win right here. Uh, they're all going to go to the same person. We got two of the Aquitaine uh, from Romocraft, two of the Sun Grown Undercrowns. Um, this will be the first time we're actually doing this giveaway. Uh, these are usually the, the – uh, uh, and it's also 19 to buy any weed products here too. Wow. Did you hear that Emilio and Black Label Trading Company are basically merging? Haven't had either yet. I have not heard that, Mitch. No. Nice. No, I have not. Um, so, guys, if I can get these. Sorry, guys. You want some help? There we go. <laughs> so, like I said, you guys, we hit our 20. We really appreciate you guys helping us out. Shoot, that looked, took less than 15 minutes to get that. Nice. Uh, Thanks, thank guys. you guys so much. So, if you guys want to win these four cigars, um, let's see. I think what we'll do... Uh, let, let's pick. Uh, let's pick a year. A year. A year. Uh, from. Uh, and you have to look on your phone to find this answer, so we can see who gets it right. So, uh, James says he's never had Roma Craft. Oh man, you're missing out. You definitely got to try Roma Craft. I, I definitely recommend it. The Cro Magna is one of my favorites, and as is this Aquitaine. Um, but the whole lineup's great, guys. It's really, it really is. James, you will not be disappointed. Uh. Damn, I'm trying to think of something interesting for you guys to try to guess uh, so that we can uh, uh, get this giveaway to you guys. Oh, Moonshine Rob says he's also going to throw in a Drew Estate ashtray for this. Oh, that is awesome. Thank you, man. And you know that what? That is awesome. Screw it. If we can get this video, if you guys can share it enough to get it to 50, we'll give away a shirt too. We'll give away one of the polos. Wow. Okay. So just, whoever wins, you got to let me know your size so I can order the right size for you because right now we're limited in stock. We're going to print to order. Or not print really. I guess it's – Embroidered order. Embroidered order. Yeah, that's a weird way to say it. But you know what I mean. We're going to make them to order for you guys to get the freshest shirts. Freshest. But if we can get this up to 50, there will be a shirt in there as well. And all you have to do for that one is just like it. And whoever gets randomly picked out of the likes will get the shirt. What? A year of something? Keep talking. I'm going to find the answer to the question I want. Yeah, I, I really do love these shirts, guys. I hope you will you will support the brand and get one. But I do also want to just see them on some of you guys. Chris XL, I already know you wear an XLT. I've seen you. You rock really nice suits. I can't, you can't not ask questions when you see a man wearing that nice suits all the time. So it is what it is. Cool ashtray is what I'm looking for for my patio. That's a good, yeah. I um, I like these ceramic ones. They're great. Um, my sister made me a ceramic one for Christmas because she's a she's a fan of the show, but she's too young to to be a part of it, and um, I'm okay with that. Stay in middle school, kid. But um, it, it, yeah, you got to have a good ashtray for outside, too. We've got our Romeo Julieta one from the first pack we ever bought. Well, the five-pack of Romeo Julieta came with a thick plastic, um, I think six-count, three on each side uh, ashtray. So you can hold six cigars at once if people are smoking with you. And that thing's lasted years. It's been at least two years now. Yeah. And uh, it's going. I, I really like hard plastic um, ashtrays for outside. If you get a metal one, I know a lot of people out there weatherproof them. Um, just like Cigar Prop does for their – sorry, bro. I'm returning in front of you. It's all good. But uh, their stands, which are really awesome. I love these stands. Check out Cigar Prop in the corner up there. You can go check out their page. Um, but, yeah, I, I really like those hard plastic ones too because if something does happen to it, it can't be that sad. They're not expensive. They're durable. It just, it just, just is what it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, okay, so I got, I got a question. We're going to see how it goes. Um, it's the first one you guys will, we'll obviously we'll tweak it uh, later on. Uh, Peter, actually football trivia will be next week. Um, when we're going to do a, a, another one for Super Bowl. Uh, the Super Bowl, you'll have to guess who wins and the points, whoever gets the closest, uh, is going to win a, a cigar or two from us. So I want to know you guys in, this will be, uh, let's see, here we go. This will be the question. You guys have to look it up as fast as you can. Put the answer in the comments. And uh, here we go. Uh, in 2014, Cigar Aficionado awarded this cigar to the number 14 cigar of the year. Um, I want to know who is what who it is, who makes it, and uh, what size it is. Oh. So 2014, the number 14 cigar of the year. So good luck, everybody. First one to put it in the comments. Uh, we'll win this four-pack of cigars. Two Roma Craft. Two sun grown undercrowns. <coughs> All great cigars. They really are. They really are. I gotta say, I'm really in, I'm really digging this sun grown. It is it's smaller size, obviously, than some of the others in the list, 
but it's uh, a lot of power in there. A lot of strength yep. to the cigar. A lot of nice peppery taste to it. Very much enjoy that. Uh, so if you're out there and you like you know, like a peppery cigar, you want something full strength, it's going to be right up your alley. And I want to say the aqua. Hey, Mark, you can, you can totally cheat. You can totally cheat and go online and find the answer, man. Oh, there we go. Oh, James. James got it. That was That's bad. the exact answer I was looking for right there. Peter, so close. Uh, James barely beat you. Uh, it is the Diamond Crown Julius Caesar in the Robusto, which is another fantastic cigar. Um, so, yeah, we will have your uh, – So, James, uh, do me a favor and uh, message message the page, your information, so we know where to ship these to. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, if you don't mind, though, James, we'll have to sip, ship the ashtray separately only because we won't see Rob next week because we'll be out of town in Vegas. Yeah. Um, so we'll send you the cigar as soon as we can, and then we'll send you the ashtray probably the following week once we're able to get a hold of Rob because we'll be out of town. So, uh, yeah. But keep the sharing, guys. Go Keep the sharing going, guys, so we can get that shirt giveaway too. That would be pretty awesome. Um, and let us know what you think of them uh, when you check them out online. Uh, the link is above. If you have any suggestions on what we should do next, Frankie has some ideas um, for T-shirts versus, uh, yes. versus the polos, which are looking pretty cool to me. I think they're looking good. Yeah. Uh, Chris, the Oliva Serie V Melania was the number one cigar of 2014, wow. not the number 14 cigar. Um, what about the Atabay? Uh, Carrie, have yourself a good night. Um, oh, I like the Atabay. Yeah, you know, some good stuff. I have a really good friend who comes into the shop. He's a really, really good guy when it comes to scotch and whiskey, and he actually is not a big fan of the Atabay. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually on the other end of the spectrum. Um, I absolutely love the Atabay. I think it's a fantastic cigar. It is pricey, uh, but I do feel it's a fantastic, fantastic cigar. Uh, for me, it's more of a celebration cigar. I don't have it all the time, uh, but when I do have it, there's a special reason for me having it. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, if you if you have the money to spend on it and try it out just once, I absolutely recommend doing it. Um, there's only been one person I've heard say they weren't that big a fan. Um, that's it. Yeah. Everybody else has really, really liked it. So um, that being said, uh, I I, uh, I really like the Atabe. I really, really do. What do you call? Um, yeah, it is. It is a really great cigar. The price point here in California is a little higher than usual, just you know, because of our tax situation. But it is, in a lot of people's opinion, in my, I think it's um, worth the price. Yeah, it, uh, it ranks right up there with the Opus X. Uh, I think, if not in some cases, it beats it because there's quite a few versions of the Opus X out mm -hmm. there. I think my favorite would still be Angel Share if I got to pick my own. Frankie, I can't wait for you to, to smoke that purple rain. Yes, I'm looking forward to that purple rain. I haven't smoked it yet. No, that's gotta be on that's gotta be on an episode. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Chris sent us a new picture of the shirt. Oh, yeah, I see it. I dig it. Oh. Chris, I dig it. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. I do like the stash. Stash is good. Uh it's a one timer from my grad son's graduation in May 2019. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah, that's the exact reason you buy a cigar that's a little pricier, in my opinion, right there. 100%. It's something great like that. And Moonshine, uh, you have a good one? Chris, that's his daughter's graduation, too. Nice. Uh, yeah, Mitch, that, that's exactly what I feel, too. You know, um, I thought it smoked fantastic. I thought the flavors were great, um, but it is pricey. So for me, it'd be a, a very rare time that I, that I smoked that cigar. Um, we do them in the shop, and they're actually selling really well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's really, really cool. Um, uh, but again, you know, it does have that heavier price tag. So unless you own your own shop where you get them at cost or you have the money to spend on those all the time, it's definitely, definitely hard to pull the trigger on spending that much money on one cigar when you can buy, you know, three other cigars, uh, that are, that are really good too. And at the same price. And in my opinion, this is uh, it's just mine, but I can get four for the same price when I go for those tobacco literally in this, which is our house blend at cigar and more. And they're, they're really great. Um, the last one I had though, which is blown up on me, yeah, that was flowered, weird. some fierce. It was the first time that ever happened, but the flavors are still there. So if you're one of those guys who, okay, the, the construction's not going my way, I just need to keep making sure I action it properly. Or I'm going to drop on myself every every time. Um, it's, it's still a great smoke. So if you don't mind a little bit of a wonky burn, you're going to be happy. Uh, other than that, though, other than that one, I've had quite a few. I would say at least two dozen. Mm -hmm. um, not the same one though. They have different wrappers, guys. I think believe there's six in the lineup. Um, and it's only, and only one of them has been that messed up. That's pretty good. That's a, that's a pretty good deal right there. And then let's see this real quick, Mark. 
smoke one uh, with your daughter. My daughter smoked one with her brother uh, on the Oval at Ohio State in 2015. That's cool. That's awesome. Um, okay, Chris, honestly, if I could have bought more Purple Rens, I would have. Honestly, the most expensive cigar I ever purchased, and we had a limit of two at the shop. And when I went in to grab them, there was only one left. So that's why I only got it, uh, the one. And, and if I'd have been able to buy two, I would have bought two. Um, but, yeah, that was the last one they had left. The other ones had actually been purchased uh, on the that Tuesday's live stream. Uh, someone actually called in and bought those. <laughs> yeah, they did, like right as we were talking about them, not even waiting for them to show. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Mark, um, the house blend is the Tobacco Lera Leendez. It comes from the same people who make Recluse, which is another one of my favorite cigars. Uh, Los Cabos is one that came out at the IPCPR in July of last year, and it is phenomenal. It's probably their strongest cigar on their list, but it's still um, more medium to full. So if you're if you're getting up there in strength and you're not quite to that full level yet, you're going to love this cigar. A lot of flavors, a uh, very unique shape, um, a unique cut to it. It's a chisel cut. All you do is pinch that end, and it just opens up every time. Never yeah. had a problem with that. Yeah, Tobacco Lair Leendez, uh, really, really great uh, house blend cigar. Fairly inexpensive for the size that you're getting. Uh, really good smoke output, really good flavors um, for an inexpensive cigar. And uh, with as many as we've had, we've only had one one have an issue. So that's pretty damn good. Richard, thank you for joining us. Hey, Rich. Uh, we do have Long Ash Contest, actually. Um, we're actually going to have another one when we do another uh, live studio audience uh, here at the studio. Um, we do them every time we have the uh, events over at Cigars and More. Yep. Oh, which also, uh, Mark. If you want to get some of the house blends, all you got to do is uh, uh, call into Cigars and More, uh, and they can hook, hook you up with that. Uh, you just have to give them your, your shipping information and that kind of stuff. You'll have to talk to Trina. Uh, the best time to do it is on a Tuesday morning when we're there doing our show. She's there. Uh, so that's usually the best time to do it. And, Joe, if, uh, to answer your question, why save ash instead of uh, flipping it off, um, the ash, when you leave it on there, it actually helps cool the smoke down because you have a little more time for the air to pass through. And... Honestly, I got to say, Peter, talking about the long ash cups, I like to just see how long you get the ash. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. It's completely arbitrary. It's uh, You don't need to do it all the time. You can you can knock the ash off whenever you want. But normal protocol is to leave the ash on. If it can hold on, uh, that's a sign of a good construction. So that's that's why most people do it. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's definitely a great sign of good cigar construction. It's also a good way of telling you whether you have a long fill or a short fill or mix. Uh, a short fill will not hold on very well. It'll start to get flaky and to fall off on its own. As you can tell here, stacking up very nicely. Just a small, slight little lilt to it. Uh, but you can see my, my my burn is just about razor sharp, and this construction is fantastic on this small cigar. Um, me too. I like to keep it on as long as I can to test the construction. Dude, I haven't been uh, haven't been have a cigar since Tuesday. Creation with the wife and kiddo. Hey, brother. Yeah, we're actually going to miss you guys on Tuesday. We won't be in the shop. We'll be in Vegas. Uh, we're going to find a shop out there to do it. So if you guys have any good suggestions for us to hit up in Vegas, please uh, let us know in the comments or message us after the show if you'd like. Um, it hasn't been able to find an opportunity out in San Diego to go grab a cigar either. Man, I know that's rough, but if you want to – If you want to have – sorry, I might not to interrupt you. Uh, Mitch, if you want to have a cigar in San Diego and your wife will let you get away for an hour or so to smoke one, uh, you're going to want to hit up Expose. They have a fantastic humidor there, um, great friendly staff. Uh, the girls there are super helpful, um, just really, really awesome. Yeah, a good a good amount of different drinks to choose from. No alcohol, but a bunch of coffees and teas, sodas. Um, a slushy machine, which was kind of cool. Didn't grab one, but uh, you have the option. You know, espresso if you want. Yeah, and there's other options there as well. When we went there, it was a magician doing a doing a show. So definitely, yeah, take the whole take the wife. You know, have and a good you, time. you could put your cigar down for a little bit and. Uh, Go get yourself a lap dance. Oh, that's right. That's the other like. thing. That's what else you can get. There. Yeah. For those of you in San Diego, um, I think this is just the coolest idea. They actually have a cigar lounge uh, located inside of the Gentleman's Club Expose. That they do. Um, the owner, Dino, is currently making himself a beautiful little walk-in humidor. Uh, he's got about six shelves. Yeah. yeah. Uh, kind of like the ones I have right behind me. And they are stocked, beautifully stocked. They've got all the opus you'll ever want. Uh, they have... Uh, the number one cigars from the Andalusian Bull, the EP Carrillo, uh, the Eye of the Shark, um, tons of tons of great stuff. So um, they have stuff for beginners, they have stuff for uh, novice, uh, and they have stuff for the veteran smokers. So uh, if you guys ever get a chance to check out Expose, 
It's awesome. We'll actually be making a trip down there again uh, sometime next month. And yeah, we're hoping to bring you guys a really special show from there in April. So uh, if you guys want to meet us down there in April, we'll give you the dates. I think it's going to be the 19th or the 20th. I, I think we're aiming for those dates. Um, but, yeah. And, and the good thing about it, I know some people say, hey, you know, I really don't go to Gentleman's Club. I absolutely understand that. Yeah, um, no. You can't smoke your cigars inside the club. It's actually on the patio, uh, which is enclosed um, right outside of the club. With great ventilation, though. Yeah, so really great ventilation. Strong. They have the little fire pit out there. But April will start probably getting a little bit warmer in April. Um, yeah, but you're still going to feel good out there because it is, again, outdoors with a nice breeze going right through it. And, man, it really doesn't – it feels like you're just at a lounge, a normal lounge. It does. It's got plenty of seating, and uh, it's got some big windows if you want to check in what's going on inside the club as well. Uh, they got sports on the TV, and it's uh, – the only place you can play Keno as well while you're there. Yeah, I saw that as well. I'm not a gambler. Um no, not really of any kind. So in Vegas, if anyone wants me to take a bet on something, you got to let me know ahead of time because I won't be doing it um, just for myself. Yeah. But if you guys have a bet you want to put down, let me know ahead of time. But it's cool that there's that option. Yeah, I had a lot of fun just sitting down, having a few cigars uh, with the owner, just talking to him about you know business and, and life and his, his, his thought process behind bringing a cigar lounge into a gentleman's club. Yeah. And uh, you don't have to purchase cigars there, you guys. You guys can bring your own cigars, uh, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, I know a lot of different, uh, cigar lounges say you have to buy a cigar there to smoke there, Which or you have to pay a fee to smoke there. Uh, but this one, uh, you do not have to, uh, buy cigars there. You can actually bring your own. So if you have a few cigars that you want to smoke and just chill out uh, outside, grab a drink, absolutely can do that. Yeah. Uh, we actually, we, we went to another place, um, same day, uh, to Lord Puffer cigars where their lounge is members or a $5 cutting fee went to go over there. Definitely worth it. It's an amazing lounge. Yeah. There's it's a beautiful, yeah. There's an awesome uh, fish tank in there. Really well kept aquarium. We we're watching the Pats friggin' almost lose. Almost gonna be a heart attack. Ooh, that was a harsh game. But I here's a question for you guys out there. Uh, if you guys want to answer this for me, how much are you willing to pay for a cutting fee to hang out at a lounge? I mean, obviously, you want to buy a cigar. You want to support the local business. But if you can buy the cigar and then you also have to pay uh, to go sit in the lounge. Because it, it could be a members only, which is fine. Totally get that. How much is too much in your opinion? Or where is about that cutoff? Like, eh, this is, might be a little high for me. Now, I will say the $5 you paid at Lord Puffers, I thought it was well worth it. Um, their lounge is actually separate uh, from the main area. You have to actually go through a, few door, a couple of doors to get into there. And uh, the seating is beautiful. Uh, they have like individual seats with their own little armrests. Um, they have a shoe shiner that comes in every once in a while, I believe. Yeah. Um, they have, TV, have tons of TVs all over. So you basically get your own little TV. Um, along the wall um for me i thought the five dollars is absolutely justified if you go to somewhere uh like mardo's or cigars and more or cigars limited in fresno uh where you're just sitting there you know with the general public i do not see them being able to charge a, a cutting fee or a fee to be able to stay there uh to me that's a little weird uh, if you're already buying a cigar you're there with everybody else i think you should be able to smoke it there but if you're in a private little lounge to the side um you know, where people can't just come in and out as they please, they actually have, have a reason to be there, then I think it's okay. Yeah, I agree, I agree with that. And uh, I also like Mitch's opinion right here. $10 is about his limit unless they stock coffee and stuff. That's a really nice amenity too, which um, I, I paid for a soda at, at um, excuse me, over at Lord Puffer. Not a big deal. A buck for, for a drink and then go hang out at a really nice lounge. Um, if they would have charged $10 and it was included and stuff, I probably would have paid the $10. Honestly, it was it was definitely worth it. I think I think you're right on the money there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, James agrees. If it's more than ten dollars, I'll probably pass. And Mitch will definitely check out In Fuego off the Strip or the Lad Vegas Cigar Outlet. I can't wait to go to the Lad Vegas Cigar Outlet. Ah uh, ha ha! You're uh -huh. funny, Mark. Well, uh, from my experience, the cigar is overpriced to cover the cut fee. I think that that's a good point too. Um, if you're pricing them at a, at a certain point, and some places can get pretty pricey. For being a for being a brick and mortar, um, they're wanting to kind of include the um, price of the experience of being there in with the cigar. So there's no cutting fee uh, other than actually you know, buying the cigar. That I guess that's okay. If it's not too crazily overpriced, I can understand that. I mean, you don't want to spend twenty dollars for your Serie V. Yeah, that, that wouldn't make any sense. It yeah. really wouldn't. But let's say it's another. What, what do we pay here in town? It's thirteen. 
Uh, $14.99 for the Oliva Serie V Milano in Figueroa, which I like. Would you go $16.99 and not pay a cutting I would. Fee? I would. I, th- I think that would be reasonable. And, um, I mean, there's always I, – I like to get the house blends wherever I'm at just because I want to see what the owners think sells best in their area. Uh, usually is a cigar that kind of caters to their people, which I really like that. And then Grant says, just to have a lounge closer than two hours would be great. One we like to go to almost four hours. Whoa. Uh, we go once a year to be four hours away. It's got to be a great lounge, though, I bet. Can you can you share the name for us? I think you might have already before, but I always want to make sure I remember that stuff. So if we ever have a chance to get out in your guys' uh, neck of the woods, we know where to go. Yeah, we have a four-hour drive. It's either we're in San Diego or we're over in Vegas. That's uh, that's our four hours right there. We are God, we're spoiled. That's ridiculous. Yeah. How awesome that is. I mean, four hours, a little, no, a little bit more. I think it's almost four and a half, almost five. We go to San Francisco if you want to. Mm-hmm. One of the nicest looking areas, if not the craziest I don't think areas. You can smoke cigars there, though. You can stand outside of uh, Marin County and look at it, like, oh man, that's really pretty, and then leave because you don't get a cigar there. Yeah, Gilbert, I absolutely agree. Uh, I wouldn't pay ten dollars to smoke a seven dollar cigar too. Um, I, I really think, uh, unless you're like a monthly member like we are, at Calibras, I think five dollars is right at my comfortable uh, zone right there. Um, and again, it would have to be. A separate lounge. You couldn't be like, oh, you're sitting in the chairs, right, where everybody comes in to pay and stuff like that. Um, what about a door charge if they have uh, a specific uh, pay per view on? Like when the fights come through, if you're a UFC fan or uh, a boxing fan, I know there haven't been a lot of good fights lately, but uh, they've got uh, another Canelo fight coming up, don't they? May 4th. May 4th. Yeah, May 4th. Would you guys help chip in for that? Because they really ream the prices up on businesses when they want to get a pay per view. Yeah. It is ridiculous. I didn't realize how bad it was. I thought, Man, it's got to be easy for them because only sixty bucks. Put that up between twenty customers. Yeah, you're good. No, it's like three hundred dollars for us to get it here. That was a bar, by the way, that I was talking to a bartender of, and she was like, "We don't get them here. It's not worth it." But if they're willing to to shell out the cash, I think it's um, a little more understandable to kind of help out for that. Yeah, James said, "Yeah, for that I would." Oh no! Shit! Looks like Miguel's the winner. So I have lost uh, my Miguel's long ash contest, as you guys can see. Um, I'm actually like freaking out. I'm on Grant says this is his first time on here. Um, Kansas City, Outlaw Cigar. Kendall's the owner, great man. Awesome. Awesome. We'll Outlaw definitely look that cigar. up. Okay, yeah. I'll make sure. And thank you for watching that. If you're a first time, um, I hope you come back. I hope you like the show. Yeah, and, if uh, you, you just missed it, Grant, but we just did our uh, monthly cigar giveaway for four cigars. Uh, what we do is we smoke a different cigar every week, and it's a cigar of the week. And then we give all four of the weekly cigars away at the end of the month, the last show of the, of the month. And uh, so make sure you tune in uh, for more of our stuff. We have giveaways all the time. Matter of fact, we're doing another giveaway uh, as well. Uh, the person that shares this video the most is actually going to win a cigar from Miguel. And we'll do another giveaway next weekend uh, with the uh, Super Bowl, Patriots, and the Rams. Uh, what we'll do is I'll post a picture like I did this past time. And uh, you'll have to guess the score and the winner. And whoever gets the closest will win a couple cigars as well. Are you gonna uh, you're gonna do the same kind of? It'll be the same thing, you guys. I'll post a picture of the Super Bowl logo on there. Uh, on it'll be on Instagram, you guys. So you got to go to Instagram for this. I apologize. Uh, I try to make sure I put it in bold letters on the Facebook page, but you got to do it on the Instagram. The Instagram is BacoGent six six one, and I'll actually type that in here so you guys can see it. You know, I'll read some comments. Gilbert is on point, and that is the problem when you have so much data out there uh, here on certain cigar pricing. Yeah. You can't be overcharging people if you want to keep your business open. It really doesn't work that way. The experience can be great, but at some point you have to say that's enough. You, you can't charge me anymore, guys. Yeah, we got it. We got to make a. We've got to have more than one cigar for thirty dollars. Sometimes it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And uh, Peter, thank you. I, I did good right there. I'm still holding on. And Mark, uh, a door cover fee is part of the game. I used to be in the cable business, and I'm an accountant, so. And I'm an accountant, so you – I think the rest of the comments are coming. But, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, that You should pay to, to have that experience. You're going to pay at your home, or you could pay a little less and have the experience with everybody else. So, yeah, that makes sense. But I did put our um, Instagram and Twitter handle uh, in the comments right there, you guys. There's another page called the Baker's Hill Gym. It has our picture, but that's not us. Uh, so it is Baker Gent 661 and you guys can uh, go on there, and I'll have the picture. I'll probably have it Saturday. Um, I don't want to give too long uh, to do that one, only because then we start getting a lot of duplicates. 
And then people get upset because, oh, I had this one too, but then this guy had it first. So before, uh, so make sure you guys get on there and get your votes in uh, and get your, your, your scores in as well. Um, again, you'll have to give us who you think is going to win and what the score is, you guys. Um, closest is going to win a, a couple of cigars. And uh, I'll post a picture of the cigars too, I think, that we'll give away. So um, for those of you that want to join that and want to do that, right now give me some suggestions of some cigar brands that you'd like to see uh, in a giveaway for the Super Bowl one. Let me know. Um, try not to make it ones that I can't find. If you guys know what we have in cigars and more, that's where I get my cigars from. So uh, do me a favor and try to pick ones I can get there. Uh, they have a very well-stocked humidor, but again, we can't get everything. So uh, let me know in the comments, you guys, what you would like to see uh, in the Super Bowl giveaway. That's good. Yeah, I would like to hear that as well. I want to know what you guys are smoking out there. And uh, if you haven't uh, already checked this out, we did a couple couple of videos. We mentioned this. We found a cigar that was mentioned to us on the stream before, and no one's really guessed it yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and say it. We found the Green Hornet. We have found the Green Hornet, and I would like to do – Probably a recorded episode for that one. Yes, absolutely. We'll, we'll do a full on the the full length and the shortened version. But I'm looking forward to that one a lot. Obviously, uh, the parent company for this is Waspness Videos. You look at that; it's a green wasp. So once the name someone once someone told me, oh, there's a green hornet cigar out there. I needed that. Wow, Mitch. Wow, thank you, thank you so much. I think that's a good list right there. Luis, though, uh, some Sinistro is a good pick as well. We'll add that into it, Frankie. How about that? So I mean, just uh. Davidoff, Opus, a couple Andalusian bulls, maybe a shark or two, and an Atabe. Frankie, Frankie's got that. Throw in your uh, Purple Rain, too, while you're at it. Uh, OS, okay. I have not had that. Peter, I've not had that. I would like to, yeah. Uh, Luis, uh, Sinistro. Uh, we can definitely put Sinistro in there. Um, as most people know, I've been really digging the last Cowboy, uh, Maduro, and the Bellicoso that they make, as well as the... Uh, um, Mr. White and Mr. Red in the, um, the hell do you call it? Scalas that Scalas. they do. And the one I really been liking recently that I just smoked my last one. I'm about to go pick up another box, uh, has been the Havana Viejas in Lancero. Fantastic cigar. It is one of my favorites. Um, go bigger, go home, Pat fan. Uh huh. Very, very funny. Um, so if anybody else has had that Lancero Havana Viejas, let me know what you think of it. I think it's a fantastic cigar. Love the size, love the flavors, love the construction. Um, yeah, we're having an issue again, of course. I can see it from here now. If the uh, kilobytes per second keeps dropping, I don't know what that happens. I think maybe because we're going from there too. It, I, I would go there from the iPad. I don't know why it would make a difference. 